Thank you, Mr. Speaker. There's been a lot of uh, commentary around how this is a different pipeline debate, that this is very much a, you know, a status quo pipeline. Um, and the member referenced you know, the origins of Line 5 in being built in, in, in 1953. And I think of, of eroding infrastructure like Line 5 throughout the USA and Canada. And considering the shutdown of Line 5 is imminent, they were in an emergency debate without an alternative, um, has the government failed in initiating the transition um, and at very least mitigating a worst case scenario and that this is case in point that the status quo is not working? Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The Honourable Parliament Secretary. Thank you to my Honourable Colleague. I think we are all in agreement that we need to make a tra transition, but I don't think that that transition is going to happen tomorrow. There are many Canadians that rely on the good jobs and the income that come from, 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 from the oil that's delivered in the pipeline and, and, and other uh, liquids that are de delivered on the pipeline. And I don't believe that it's going to get shut down tomorrow or imminently. I believe the legal case, as I tried to illustrate in my uh, presentation, is a very, very good one. And I think the governor of Michigan lacks the power to do this. We need, of course, to ensure the U.S. federal government does, its, does an intervention. But the courts in the United States that I trust will make sure that an illegal action, such as trying to end an easement illegally, will not be allowed to, to happen.